guys, it's your girl Jalinda. I'm back again today with another video. Guys, today I'm going to show you how I did my uh, Easter tear tray. What I used, um, kind of the way, I, it's just a bunch of Easter stuff that fits on a tear tray. And you just kind of go at it. You just kind of go crazy with it. And that's, that's kind of what I do. I just go crazy with it. And I just keep going with whatever theme I start with. I just keep going with that. But that's what we're doing today. Um, join me, guys. Okay, guys. So, literally, when I do these tear trays, I'm not, I don't have a rhyme or reason as to how I do it. It just, I just keep going. I get some kind of inspiration. And I just keep going with that, um, whatever that is. If, if, I, if it's bunnies on Easter, if it's bunnies, I just keep going with bunnies. Keep going with bunnies. And anything that reminds me of a bunny. Um, so, it's, it's really all in your preference and what what it is that you like and how you like your tear tray to look and, and and all you have to do is go from there if you know that you like things that are tall from the back and gradually come smaller in the front then you know that's kind of the way to go with your tear tray i heard somebody once say that um it's organized chaos and and she's actually she's absolutely right it is organized chaos it's just like you're just like putting things that and you just kind of go crazy with it whatever your theme is you just kind of go crazy with it and that's that's what i've done so um most of my tear tray this time is bunnies um and then just easter stuff in general but um the most part of what i've done is bunnies so what i'm going to do is take everything off I'll go ahead and show you. I mean, I'll kind of want to rearrange it in anyway. So I'll just take everything off and then we'll start with a fresh uh, clean slate and show you how I do it. Okay, usually I just start by cleaning off my tear tray. Um, just cleaning off any dust or any glitter or something that's left over from the last um, time I decorated uh, my tear tray. So start with, um, I just get a Clorox wipe or something and just clean it and dust it off. Okay, guys, so I start with something that is tall. Uh, and I start in the back, uh, wherever I'm gonna put it. I'm just gonna have it right here in this, uh, this spot right here like I always do. But what I like to do is start with something tall. So I need to see if this will fit, and it will. So I will go ahead and put that base in the tallest, at the tallest point in the back. And so then I move on from there and just kind of go around. Whatever I want to be seen or displayed, I make sure I put it in the front first. And then I just work my way around. Sometimes I work from the back to the front. Sometimes I work from the front to the back. Sometimes I do front and back and then fill in spots. So something that I want to showcase is my little chick that says Happy Easter. That's kind of my focal point. I want to, I want to make sure that that's being seen. Uh, so I will put it here on the top shelf. He, it, sometimes things fit right in there and sometimes they don't. You have to kind of tilt them up or maybe set them a little you know kind of on top as long as it's um sturdy and it's not going to go anywhere uh, it's okay so that's that's sturdy right there and so she's my focal point so i want to kind of make it themed around her so that's how i that's how i start and then i just start filling in things in places that need to be filled in and so i put my candle here I want the label to be seen, so I'll turn it out outward a little bit um, so the label is seen. And the next thing, this could also be a focal point because you want people to be able to read it. So you kind of want it to be where it's in a place where it can be read. So I'll put it right here in the front there. Now, I really, and then, you guys, in the middle of what I'm doing, I'll see something else that needs to happen. So I see now that I don't want my chickie up here. I want to exchange 
my chicky for. I'm gonna put her down here. She's still in the front. She's still a focal point. She's still in the front. And we'll put this somewhere where it can be seen. It's it's so adorable. Um, let's put it up. I guess I'll put it back here. Cause we got we've got some bunnies that are so cute that this is my my thing. So I need these to be visible. So I'm gonna make sure that they're there somewhere front and center so that they can be seen as well. Um, this one, I'll put over here. So cute. Okay, so this pedestal is another thing that I'm gonna put kind of on the outside so you can see it. And we will put this buddy on the pedestal. So that you can see him. You know, let's see what need to be up there. I'm gonna change something again. Let's, let's put the egg, the lighted egg down here, and put the pedestal up the top, and then have our bunny be on top of it. So cute. These bunnies are just so cute. Alright, now. This little baby egg, I think it would go up here with the bunny. And I want to do this with the birdhouse. As you can see, it's getting a little chaotic where, you know, you don't really know where to put things, but you just keep putting things where they will fit. Anywhere that they will fit. Move her back. Put this egg with the egg here. The egg here. Okay, now we'll put Mr. Gnome right here in front. Right there in front. And then these little eggs are just kind of fill-ins. I can just stick them anywhere, just kind of wherever they might go. Wherever they might go. Just to remind you that it is Easter. I have another little candle here. I'm just going to stick it wherever it will fit. And another little bunny here. I'm going to put him somewhere. I just stick it. Okay, guys, and there you have it. That's how you do, and that's how I do my Easter tear tray. And just about any tear tray I do, that's how I do it. So, we're all done. Um, it looks really cute. I'm going to show you a close-up. <laughs> candy on the table and it's just out you know you just have it out for people to grab when they go past um, the table um, for any holiday you can do this uh, whatever candies you have uh, for certain holidays you just you put them out and you just kind of display them so that people know that they can just grab them and eat them and um, I've always been like that and you know everything is kind of like family style and just out and and there for everybody to enjoy just gonna put grass some grass, some Easter grass in this, in this basket. You guys have seen this basket before. It's been around a while. It's a little warped, but it still works for what I need it to work for. So I'm just gonna put uh, some pink, some pink grass in here. Just put whatever color you want, whatever color you like. And these are two different kinds. And I don't I don't want two different kinds. I just kind of want the pink regular old schmegler regular schmegler easter grass i don't want the ribbon kind so i'll take some of this out take some of the ribbon kind out because i just really want regular easter grass in pink okay i also have yellow on me but i'll just work i'll just do the pink pink stands out so I'll do the pink. um and so I'll just open up 
-hmm. whatever individual candies I have that need to be opened. And I just, just really, literally, I just display them in the basket. And then people can just go by and pick up one if they want. You know, just kind of arrange it in different ways. We also have, now this candy, Easter is a while away. We got a good ways away for Easter, but if I leave this candy out now, it's going to be gone before Easter. But this is how I display it. Just kind of put it around and, you know, make sure that, that it shows what kind it is. Huh? And there's peeps, and, and I'm just not going to open the peeps. I'm just going to put them in. You can't really open the peeps um, and do them individually, so I just put them in somewhere. You know, it's just basically like you're making an Easter basket, but it's just for candy for everybody to enjoy. I'll put the bubble gum in there. And these, what I think I'm gonna do is I have jelly beans in here. I think I'm gonna just take some of the jelly beans out. When I out, it's in the other spot. And then I'll put some robin eggs in here. There we go. Some of these are broken half. I don't want those. Put those out. Okay, and just fill that with robin eggs. And you can also put these like little bags beside if you have way more candy out or for these candies, like if there's somebody who's over and they're just, they're leaving and they didn't, they want to get their candy. You can just leave some bags, leave some cute little bags. This is a cute little um, cellophane bag. You can just leave that, leave those on the side and then they can pick up their candy on the way out. They can, they can make themselves a little candy bag on the way out the door. And so I think that's a really cute way to display your candy uh, for a holiday. It's just kind of like buffet style. And then whenever somebody leaves, they're leaving and they didn't get to get their candy, they can put it in a cute little cellophane bag. I think that is just a cute idea. So leave those right there for them and that'll be a cute way to display your candy for easter okay guys that's all for today thanks for joining me you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go down hit the subscribe button also hit your notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and you won't miss any of my videos and i will see you guys in the next video bye